Hello friends, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial. There has been some exciting releases recently regarding the AI traffic and model matching which was not the most strong side of Microsoft Flight Simulator as you we all, we all know. The generic models and not having the correct liveries on the aircraft was a big issue or not quite done. Uh, with Microsoft Flight Simulator. So there are two solutions uh, that recently released. One of them is a payware from Aerosoft called uh, AI Simple Traffic. It is a traffic uh, add-on that tries to match deliveries according to the live traffic data that Microsoft Flight Simulator is receiving from flightaware.com. I tried uh, that software, purchased it, and for me it's not working. I wasn't able to get it to work. There are a lot of reports in the Aerosoft forums uh, stating that the add-on is not working or conflicting with the payware scenery and other stuff that you might have. So I spent three hours to get it to work. I wasn't successful. I gave up. The second option is much expected and weighted um, AI traffic model matching add-on from Alpha India Group also known as AIG they released their beta version of their AI traffic controller for Microsoft Flight Simulator just beware this is still a beta release so there might be some mistakes errors that you will be seeing but all in all my experience has been great with that one. It doesn't create any problems with the um, uh, sceneries or payware add-ons that you have. So therefore, this is the way to go for myself. And that's what I will be explaining in this tutorial. We will be taking a look at how to install it. It's a little bit tedious to install. I am uh, giving, I'm going to tell you that, but when you get that part done oh my god it brings a lot of immersion and boy does it work aside from Aerosoft's AI simple traffic which uses Microsoft Flight Simulator's generic plane models uh, AIG's free AI traffic add-on uses its own uh, plane models like 3D models for Boeing aircraft, Airbuses and a bunch of others including the regional jets so therefore it also is a plus on the AIG side to have their free add-on without paying and more accurate model matching for the aircraft and more accurate liveries with a variety of liveries for each airline and we are currently at Chicago as you see in the background I dropped the ground uh, aircraft density to zero so there are no aircraft on the ground except that one aircraft back there which is coming from Microsoft's uh, live traffic and this is my aircraft Airbus A320 with a Delta livery so you will see the difference here in a second and I'm going to show you how to change your airport environment from this to this Look at that, how beautiful is this? A variety of aircraft with correct liveries. We have Spirit, we have American Airlines, uh, we have United over here, we have Southwest back there, uh, and we have also some more United at the distance. And they are parking at the correct locations at the airport where they usually park in real life. How good is this? I can't be more happier than this and we can take a look around just a little bit this has a little bit of effect on the performance of the simulator but aside from that uh, it's it's perfect it's great so let's take a look around more united aircraft there another spirit back there southwest and you will see this aircraft leaving the gates gates will uh, react to the aircraft and they will move and connect and uh, they will uh, disconnect from the aircraft when the aircraft is pushing back and all that. As I said, this is still better. 
expect some bugs but all in all I think this adds a lot of immersion to Microsoft Flight Simulator sorry for the thunder it's just live weather not accurately representing the weather at Chicago right now maybe it is stormy I'm not sure but this is how it looks like all right so this is the simulator side of things so let's leave this aside um, and start discussing how we are going to install the AIG's AI traffic add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator all right we are now down in the business let's start with what you need to download first uh, to make this work first of all you are going to need the AI manager from Alpha India Group's website. All the links will be in the description field of this video. You can click through those links and download this. AI Manager is what you need to use to download the flight plans for the airlines uh, and the 3D models. And the, the, the file it's creating in your community folder is used with the traffic controller from Alpha India Group to inject the traffic into the simulator. When you are downloading, make sure you download the public beta 1.1 for Microsoft Flight Simulator support. And it will download a zip file, save it to somewhere, and we'll talk about what to do with those here in a second. The next thing you will need is the traffic controller, again from Alpha India Group. The link will be in the description. This is the tool that's required to inject the AI traffic into your simulator. So you can download it from this link down here. It's again a zip file that contains everything you need. Third, you will need an account at the Aviation Sim Library or AvSim Library. So you'll see the link in the description. Come to here and then click this register uh, link here and follow the prompts and set an account for you because you have to log into this account to be able to download the uh, models and deliveries uh, from AvSim library. And the last thing you will need is an Alpha India Group uh, account. When you go to their website, you will see a register link up here. Uh, click that, you accept their terms and then create your account and keep that password and username handy because you are going to need that as well. When you have this downloaded, let this, let's discuss what you need to do with the files we downloaded and how we are going to make this work. When you finish downloading, you will end up with two zip files, one for the AI manager and one for the traffic controller. Go ahead, right click and then extract those with the uh, compression software of your choice or you can do Windows uh, zip manager to go in there and extract. I'm using 7-zip so that's up to you what to use and you will have two folders one containing the AI manager and the EXE and then the other one containing the traffic controller EXE so before you start launching this go ahead right click on the properties of this uh, AI manager we have to do this for both go to compatibility and check run this program as an administrator and hit apply and OK Let's go back and let's do the same thing for the traffic controller. Right click, properties, compatibility, run as an administrator, apply, OK. So now you are all set to run this software and you will need those account credentials that we created halfway through the installation and uh, throughout the tutorial itself. OK, so let's jump into what we need to do first. And first thing we will do is to launch the AI manager by going in there and double clicking the EXE and it will launch. First start will take some time so be patient. It's gonna start scanning your simulator and 
trying to capture scenery information that you might have in your community folder and the aircraft information okay so this will take some time be patient give it some time for to load and you will see a screen when it finishes loading when it launches you will be presented with this screen first thing you need to do is go to flight simulator go to settings first and then go to flight flight simulator if it's not at that page it should detect microsoft flight simulator automatically and you should see version msfs 2020 right here if it's not displayed you will have a connect button i believe to connect mine detected automatically so i don't know what the other options are for you to do if it doesn't detect yours automatically from here uh, what you need to do is to um, in order to download the flight plans we will need an AIG forum account so go to cookies and uh, Alpha India group forum hit this login button it will pop a window and then use your credentials as you see it's gonna warn you first when you hit ok it will pop a window and then enter your credentials and login you can close this window after that and then do the same thing for uh, aviation sim library uh, you might be asked to do this uh, when this initial setup of the um, AI manager is happening when it's trying to load if you don't get that uh, prompt you can log in from here as you see I'm logged in click that it will pop a window and it will display some warnings or script errors disregard these and hit yes hit yes hit yes hit yes again and you will be at the login screen select your information hit login and you will see some more script errors keep saying yes until you see the window and then you can close this window as well now you are logged into both under the cookies tab uh, you can also uh, set the AI manager to check the updated flight plans during startup via the AIG forum if you want to do that but however this product is in beta so I don't recommend doing this uh, right now now we need to connect the uh, AI manager to the traffic controller this is really easy you need to go and uh, select the AIG AI manager OCI and under the general settings you have a path that will be created when you start downloading flight plans we will worry about this later on um, when you go to flight plans under here AIG flight plan files the traffic AIG traffic controller directory hit select and select where you extract the AI traffic controller uh, and select the directory that contains there you can put these into any any place you please this could be your C drive or an additional drive if you are running with multiple drives mine is on a rather bigger size drive to save some space and I'm not putting this under my sim drive so that's up to you but select this first and also change this minimum activity and maximum activity if it's one percent to something like this I am intentionally setting 1 and 99 by doing this I can control how much traffic is injected by using the slider in the flight simulators traffic menu where you see uh, the aircraft density that slider becomes how much is going to be injected into the sim okay and the final step I believe here is uh, before the boring one which we will talk here in a second uh, is to set the path where the AI manager will download the flight plans for this so for this you need to go to the AI manager OCI, OCI settings and then select the path that it will uh, download the uh, add-ons or the flight plans you can select the folder um, 
if it's control if if this traffic controller when you first run it is set up correctly then it should be already created as a path on your choice and you will follow that and find that uh, path and select it to here okay this is that uh, for the ai manager part all left is in the ar manager is to download the flight plans uh, for each airline we will come to this after taking a look at the traffic controller when you launch the aig traffic controller for the first time this will create the necessary folders in your community uh, folder the oci directory will be filled in automatically if not hit select if you want to keep it in your uh, community folder that's fine i moved mine out of the community folder and using the uh, microsoft flight simulators add-on linker software from flightsim.to to create a shortcut this is to this folder in my community folder so that i can keep this folder in a separate drive the reason being is when you start downloading a lot of airlines and their flight plans and models it takes too much space and I'll explain how that uh, looks like and I'll share what I have downloaded and how big that file is uh, in my hard drive. Other than this, you don't have to do anything over here yet because first we need to use the AI manager and download some uh, flight plans. Let's jump back to the AI manager. Here it is, that's the window. Let me just enlarge this so that it overlaps. So to download the flight plans, you need to go to the flight plans path. And now these are the ones that I installed. You see here, I have installed the major US carriers and some European carriers, the big ones like KLM, Lufthansa, Ryanair, um, Turkish Airlines, British Airways, Air France, Aeroflot, so on and so forth. When you get to here this will be empty for you you need to go to the online section and this is going to list all the flight plans available and all the airlines and uh, corporate airlines like the GA airlines for the pretty much entire world and you can make your selection from here we will do an example and you can this use this box to search for an airline in our example we will be using Aer Lingus so if I type, no spaces, I guess. Yep, no spaces, Aer Lingus. When you find the airline you want to install, hit the install button. It will pop a window like this and click install using OCI. It will display a window. There are some options that I didn't uh, look into. You can configure the different model variations from different developers if you want to do that. But I usually hit install because it works uh, beautifully as it is. So I don't have to make any adjustments or changes. It will start downloading this. Sometimes it will pop a window saying it cannot automatically download and you have to manually download a zip file and show the path to it uh, which you need to do I will show you that here in a second uh, and this usually happens when you are trying to install regional airlines like uh, Lufthansa City Air France Hub sometimes you end up with downloading a zip file from somewhere and showing the path to that zip, uh, zip file so that the flight plan man uh, manager or AI manager recognizes that zip file. So it will keep downloading as you see there are 17 variations or 17 different aircraft and their variations and liveries. So this is the part that takes a lot of time. So you have to be patient. You need to wait for this to download but you will be surprised with the result if you wait and be patient. It's going to install a lot of liveries, a lot of aircraft models, uh, which makes it a little bit uh, powerful than the Aerosoft's uh, AI Simple Traffic because it's using generic Microsoft Flight Simulator models. As you see, it finished downloading the Aer Lingus. Now let's go and install a regional one. Let's try Air France Hub. 
and install and this might create some zip files I'm just trying to see if it will so hit install it will again pop a window this is the second example install using OCI and install and hopefully I will be able to demonstrate the zip file requirement that you will see here in a second if not I will re-download one of the ones that I downloaded as you see now we have a pop-up saying is not able to download the file automatically so when you click it will open a default browser and hopefully it will route to that file yes it is down here already downloaded as you see here Raven FS Labs CRJ 1000 select your downloads folder and display that as well hit open it will keep downloading the others and you might end up with more zip files or you might not end up with it and it will download everything by itself let's wait and see there are 14 different aircraft models that it's trying to download and I see what it is trying to download Embraer 170 it already downloaded the CRJ variants CRJ 1000 again with a different livery and hopefully it will be done with that yep let's try another regional and we will finish downloading part here you can keep going and downloading more flight plans if you want to um, another regional might be Iberia Express and the 2018 summer is the flight plan that they have from this airline instead of I think using live traffic this is using this flight plans to inject the traffic into the simulator based on this flight plan file it knows at what time it departs from a certain airport and what's the route and where it's heading so on and so forth so it's using this information and this is the reason why you are not going to be able to see the uh, AI traffic nameplates even if you turned it on turn it on let's try this too and see if it will pop a zip file as well install using OCI and now it will start installing as soon as I hit install now it's working and we might end up with another zip file but adding these will add all the Iberia Express aircraft that they are using and the associated liveries looks like it's not going to ask for a zip file I was hoping it will maybe it will towards the end but it looks like it is going to go and finish this like that on itself yep it finished that and I'm going to think for another regional uh, Delta connection let's install Delta connection which is a regional US based uh, airline operating under Delta Airlines and this will probably require some zip files that I, we can demonstrate that one more time just waiting to see I don't know if we get lucky or not but you have seen the process so keep doing what you need to do that's how you install the zip files and show it to the installer when it's in your downloads folder you don't have to literally carry it you can show it directly from your downloads folder because it will be searching for that specific file it required asked you to download looks like this is not gonna pop a zip but we now we have the delta connection as well I think this is enough examples if we go to the installed now I have uh, Delta connection now I have Aer Lingus now I have Air France hub so this is how you download if you end up with mistakes errors one thing that I can recommend to fix those is go to the settings and AIG AIM OCI verify setup this will say verify all the files you downloaded all the flight plans and whatnot and uh, give you a confirmation at the end if the verification is successful 
this bar you can track the progress and when it reaches 100% for all the checks there are steps do you want to reinstall the missing repaints automatically hit yes if there are any missing ones it will try to download them automatically and put them into the correct folders in your community folder or the folder where you selected if you are using a similar setup like mine with the um, add-on enabler because I like to keep my community folder light therefore I don't my I want my simulator to read all the liveries I have and I just uh, do it differently as you see it's asking to download the dash 8 Q400 which it wasn't able to find so it will open the browser again but as you see this file is missing so I wasn't able to download that file so I'm gonna go bring it down and I have to probably skip that hit OK hit cancel it should move keep moving after that and that's the only mistake it found uh, when installing all right let's see it's thinking I guess or it's trying to tell me something there are no warnings so we should be all good yep and it's installing deliveries that are missing or maybe updated same for that and it will be done here in a second it works kinda slow it requires some RAM and you might see some warnings when you are doing the initial installation whether you wanna use uh, settings that will consume less RAM so I will leave that up to you I always ignored those and went with the default settings and didn't uh, switch to low RAM using uh, settings so as you see verify check is done and the other thing you can do is verify texture format it will verify the texture verification it will run the texture verification and again display a confirmation at the end and you are really set to go from there so we will wait for this to finish and then I will launch the simulator and show you how to inject the traffic and enjoy uh, real life models matched by AI traffic manager texture, texture verification is complete so this is all you need to do uh, we are pretty much done with installing this you can create shortcuts for AI traffic manager and AI true AI manager and AI traffic controller to launch them easily from your desktop or your from a quick launch bar which I have and I created an icon for the traffic controller or changed it so that they are not mixed up because they use the same uh, icon and we will uh, launch the simulator and take a look here in a second all right friends we are now in the simulator spawned at Paris Charles de Gaulle airport to see if we will be able to spot the Air France hop flights that we just downloaded uh, using the AI manager so right now there is no traffic first I'm gonna share my traffic settings in the simulator if we go to the general options and traffic you can keep real time online it works I prefer to turn it off so that the traffic injected is only coming from the AIG manager or AIG traffic controller and the sim and the AIG doesn't need to run simultaneously this might save you some processing power another thing I wanna mention is when you are installing the flight plans you might experience some crashes especially if you are running with limited amount of RAM I have 32 gigs of RAM I have never experienced crashes but some other friends who are trying to install this with 16 gigabyte of RAM experience some crashes so be mindful of that you might have to restart the AI manager and re try to redownload the flight plan so just wanted to put it out there here are my, uh, my traffic settings airport vehicle density this is exactly what I was talking about at the beginning this is the slider that makes me decide how much traffic I want that's injected visible that's injected by the AI traffic controller ground aircraft density I dropped it to zero there is a reason and I will share why but AI traffic controller has its own ground traffic injection 
uh, which also interacts with the aircraft it's injecting so that they you don't see trucks passing through aircraft and all that worker density I keep it around 40 35 percent and the rest I don't touch generic plane models and generic uh, plane models for AI traffic and multiplayer is on obviously this is turned off this will not have any effect traffic variety will not have a, any effect as well and you can just play with this and drop this if you are experiencing performance issues let's apply and save this and let's go back and resume and here is how the magic happens let's turn on the traffic controller that warning is displayed because I'm running it in the admin mode and it will now launch here in a second it also takes some time for this to launch as you see it's loading the data and because we just added some new flat plans it needs to compile those so that's why it's taking longer when you have those downloaded the launch is much more faster than this but it will it will launch here in a second I haven't measured the performance impact I'm not sure if this has a huge performance impact but I haven't seen too much FPS drop I am running with ultra settings everything maxed out and I'm still getting 30-35 FPS in the busy airport here is the traffic controller what we need to do here is let me shrink this window a little bit so that you guys can see the airport go to the settings and under here there is an inject traffic setting I don't use auto injection on startup I like to do this manually and there is no turn off option when you start injecting traffic only way to get rid of is to close the AI traffic controller let's press this and see what happens and the other thing is uh, before I start injecting traffic go to the airport manager and check this enable extra ground traffic it will start injecting ground traffic too let's press this and now it's starting to inject the traffic the simulator will stutter for a second because it's trying to load the aircraft models and everything but you will see aircraft popping at the gates here in a second so there is an easy jet air france air france here there's a lufthansa back there and we should see more coming and there are more terminal buildings towards the left which we can turn around and take a look nothing there yet and this might be due to it's being 5 a.m. in France as of now and uh, not too much landings and takeoff happening as you see that Air France is commencing pushback and I didn't catch if it was uh, displayed in the simulator and interacted with the gate but looks like this is an Airbus A3 18 or 19 as far as I can tell now you started to hear the engines running after pushback is complete and the lights turned on we also I believe can see the taxi lights not positive if they are true for all the aircraft I'm trying to see if the taxi lights are on but let's try to follow this aircraft and see where it is going so as you see it's following the correct taxiways to go to the runway not maybe with 100% precision but it's it's taxiing quite reasonably so let's look around while the aircraft is taxiing to see there is an easy jet right there as well there is another aircraft following that easy jet and they don't pass through each other that's the nice thing that's the Lufthansa I believe we saw at the gate here in a second ago and they will both taxi to the runway and take off Did we see more aircraft? Not at the moment, as far as I can tell. Some of the aircraft models are not interacting with the gates. I don't know if it's the expected behavior. Maybe it's because of the 3D models not recognized by the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Could be anything, but I am 
I am quite happy with what I'm getting from a free add-on that uh, has more quality than the payware -pay one. There are some more aircraft back there because I have the UPS cargo uh, flight plans installed and this is I believe the cargo bay and if we go and take a look around this is an Air France aircraft I don't know if it's an aircraft uh, Air France cargo there is another one back there taxiing to the runway and there is a big guy over there at the gate and that looks like a Delta aircraft yep international or uh, yeah over the Atlantic flight or cross uh, Atlantic flight and I don't see the gate interacting with this one as well so not sure what's happening there but uh, no worries at all let's wait I will bring you guys back when this aircraft is ready to take off for you guys to see what's happening at that time all right friends the aircraft we were following is about to enter the runway and as you see in the at the distance there are some aircraft on approach let's see how this aircraft will interact with the others and whether it will enter the runway or wait for them to land so this is something I haven't experienced yet so we are seeing this all together and as it enters the runway we should see the landing lights coming on and I hear some sounds so there's an aircraft passing there is a weird uh, glitch I guess with the model but I think what I can say is given the fact that this is completely free it is amazing to see this movement in the airport and having real traffic moving, parking, leaving, taking off and all that kind of thing looks like this guy is going to enter the runway because that aircraft on approach has some more distance to cover and I think now the runway uh, I think the lights are on now because I see some uh, lights at the nose wheel and we'll see if it will turn on the landing lights as it enters the runway and as you see the model is moving up and down but that's okay this is still a beta and I'm pretty sure it will be improved I'm checking to see if it will extend the flaps during takeoff maybe that's expecting too much but this aircraft is about to do its takeoff run here in a second I know I'm moving the camera very fast to track the aircraft and it's because the drone speed is uh, increased to be able to move around fast, uh, fast so if it's creating stutters sorry about that and I put the performance here so as you see I'm still getting 38 frames per second uh, with a GeForce 3070 Ti alright looks like this guy stopped and doing his takeoff run right now let's see what will happen should we follow him maybe and off she goes there you go some weird uh, glitches with the graphics but well the wheels are retracted or landing gear is retracted and the virtual passengers are on their way and there is that aircraft landed right there that's another Air France I believe now it's gonna taxi to the gate and there are a couple more in the air that are also injected by uh, AI traffic controller from AIG all in all I think this is a great add-on to add some immersion and this is what I was hoping to see as you see there is the Air France hub at this gate getting ready to receive the passengers alright guys so let's check another airport very quickly just to showcase how good this uh, add-on for free is and we will end the video there alright friends now we spawned at Heathrow 
and I turned on AI traffic of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So there is a British Airlines aircraft. Uh, I think just landed. It says it's a Boeing. So let's go and check that first and then we will inject the traffic and see what happens. I'm curious to see if this model is accurately matched. Looks like it is because of the uh, liveries we have in our community folder coming from AI traffic controller. This wasn't the case before. So that's a true representation of a Boeing aircraft. Alright, if the Aerosoft add-on works, I am curious to see if it will also use these 3D models from AI traffic controller. Uh, that's, that's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing it is uh, using those models to uh, to spawn these aircraft at the airports because I never saw this before. It was always saying generic instead of Boeing. Now it's saying Boeing. So I think that's a good sign. So which means you can also leave live traffic on and there is not too much of a performance hit. Let's bring the AI traffic controller here. Shrink the window so that you guys can see. Go to the settings and inject traffic. It will stutter for a second. The FPS will drop as you see here. But then we will see aircraft spawning at the gates. Hopefully. Again, I am recording this almost 11 p.m. at US. So it's very early in the morning at Heathrow. But we started to see some British Airways aircraft at the gates. I am expecting to see some Ryanair somewhere around here too, hopefully, because I have their um, flight plans downloaded as well. But this is mostly looks like British Airways parked at the gates. There is a 747. And as you see, this time I heard the gate interacting with an aircraft. So that means it's going to be dependent on the aircraft model and whether Microsoft Flight Simulator recognizes it. As you see, there's a 747 right there and the gate is connected. There is an Airbus A380, I believe. The gate is connected. There is an Air Canada 787. The gate is connected. Let's look around a little bit more. There's another Airbus A380. There is some ground traffic that's injected by the AIG traffic controller. All in all, I think this is like fantastic. There is an Air France here. The gate obviously is not connected. These aircrafts are not recognized by um, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hopefully in the future updates, this will become a thing. And I'm not seeing any Ryanair, but I'm seeing some Air Lingus here. So I'm not sure where Ryanair parks at Heathrow. It's mostly British Airways aircraft around us. And I'm just hoping to see some variety. But I think by just looking to this, it brings a lot of immersion and realism into the simulator. All right, I think I'm going to cut the video here. I hope you guys liked the tutorial. I hope it was clear and concise for you to follow and install this for your own simulator. And please let me know in the comments how your installation went. And if you have any questions, I try to respond to the comments very quickly. I might be able to solve some problems you might be facing during the installation. So please make sure to drop a comment down below. Also, don't forget to give a like to the video if you enjoyed what you have seen in this tutorial. If you are not channel, if you are not a channel subscriber and stumbled upon this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that uh, notifications bell to get notified for the future episodes. Subscriptions help with the YouTube algorithm to make this video reach to many more users who are trying to find their way to install this beautiful add-on. Alright guys, thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.